So this week I wanted to try something new, and something that's new at the moment is this Snapchat AI. It's basically a virtual friend you can speak to. And I'm not gonna lie, my thoughts on AI are a bit mixed. I think it's very cool, but I also think it's very dangerous, especially since now you can copy anyone's voice. I'm sure you could do that with me, with the many hours of content you have on this channel. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And there's now AIs that can edit videos, which is quite scary for me since that's my job. But regardless, I've been playing with the Snapchat AI and it's quite fun. And I just thought, will the Snapchat AI be able to give me a good video idea for this week and it's quite cool. This week is going to be a Q&A video and all the questions are generated by the AI. You can call this Q&A <laughs> What inspired you to start making videos? Basically just watching other people. It was mainly Smosh. Smosh is a YouTube channel that consisted of these two guys and they used to make funny videos and I wanted to do the same. So I started my own channel. What's your favorite video that you made and why? This has to be the one photo a day for a year. I really don't think I can top that video. And why is it the best? Because I took a photo every day for an entire year. <laughs> it was just so fun to make. And my favorite thing, I've said it a million times, is that I grew my hair and my beard. If you haven't seen it, click here. What is your biggest challenge you face while making videos. I guess with videos that don't have scripts to think of things to say on the spot and ways to end the video on a good note which is what I always like to do because if I just end the video saying all right thanks for watching and that's it without a conclusion I don't feel like that's gonna be a good video. How do you stay motivated to keep making videos? Hmm I think because I set myself this challenge of making one video every week it's motivating me but also making videos I like that are not something I've done before and something that's not boring I'd say that keeps me motivated. Favorite part of the video video making process definitely not coming up with the ideas because as you can see I literally asked an AI to help me out with this video but mostly the filming part and editing part how do you handle negative comments or criticism I don't I just ignore them that's always what I used to do but I haven't got any recently I got this comment in the last video thanks what's the most important lessons you've learned from making videos patience <laughs> patience is key don't rush a video oh what's the most interesting thing I've learned I've learned how to use cameras how to use all this equipment I've learned how to edit it. All on my own. I'd say that's quite interesting. How do you come up with titles and thumbnails for your videos? The thumbnails have always been kind of easy. I try to do something different each time, but since it's usually my face, they do end up being quite similar. But the titles, I try to be as straight to the point as possible. Hopefully this video has a good title. What's something you wish you knew when you first started making videos? I wish I knew that I would still be doing it 10 years later and that I would still be enjoying it. And also that there would be people watching. Real people, not AI. What's the most unusual video you've made? I'm gonna say this one. I got a robot to tell me what to do today, asking me questions about my YouTube career. What's your favorite equipment to use when making videos? I'll show you. So we have a studio light, my camera, this microphone, and my computer, which is recording the audio. I've used this for every video this year and it works very well. How do you balance making videos with other responsibilities in your life? That's a very good question. I just do what's most important first, so actual jobs, and then I work on my videos because this is still just a hobby. But it's not pointless because it brings me lots and lots of joy. What's your favorite thing about the YouTube community? I don't have much to say really. I guess if it's in the sense of creators, I think it's great because we're all here on this platform trying to send the message for this video. What's your favorite video that someone else made and why? Oh, there's too many. Currently, because it's related, this vlogger called Casey Neistat made a video called AI Made This Vlog. And I had this idea like two months ago, but I wasn't smart enough or knew how to do it. I mean, this video is very good, but I wanted to go even further. I wanted to have myself completely completely out of the video and have like deep fake technology to make a fake me with a fake voice talking about something random. What's the most surprising thing that's happened to you since starting your channel? Seeing people being so supportive about it. When I first started, I didn't want many people to know about this channel, but now everyone around me knows about it. So yeah. What's something you always wanted to try in a video but haven't? Ah, I mean, I've done a lot that I wanted to make, but I guess one day to make a video with a really big inspiration of mine. I guess that's a thing I always wanted to do. How do you come up with video ideas when you're feeling stuck. <laughs> Wow, it's like it's self-aware. I'm literally asking you. That's how. What's your proudest moment as a YouTuber? Probably having people in real life telling me, oh, that was a great video. <laughs> it's quite surreal. What's something you think sets your channel apart from others? Me. Something you've done to improve your video making skills. Getting a better computer. It was an investment and worth it. What's your favorite video editing software and why? I use Adobe Premiere Pro. And why? Because it's amazing. There's so many people that are using Sony Vegas, Final Cut, DaVinci 
resolve but I think I'm gonna stick with mine because I know mostly everything and I know how to use it very very well. Well something you wish you could change about the YouTube platform I really liked how when I joined YouTube the layout was and the logo so I guess that. What's something that you're proud of that's not related to your YouTube channel? There's not much. I mean I graduated but my proudest achievement is this channel. How do you stay organized when planning and making videos? My whiteboard. I basically planned the whole of last week's video on the whole of the whiteboard. What's something you wish you could tell your younger self? I wish I could tell him. Nothing. <laughs> it took so long. Nothing. Because I made so many mistakes and figured them out on my own and now I'm here today. What's your favorite type of video to watch on YouTube? So it used to be very short content but now it's podcasts or longer type of videos. What's the most important thing you've learned about branding your channel? If I still had the name 12345 Smosh Fan, I don't think I would have been successful. Ever since I put my name on the channel and the, the name is so straight to the point. The Brian videos. What's this channel about? Oh, it's Brian's videos. So it's important to have the name describing what your channel is. What's the most important piece of advice you would give to someone just starting out on YouTube? The equipment does not matter. I started out on a simple phone and then worked my way up and so many YouTubers say the same thing. What's your favorite thing to do in your free time? Taking a long walk either with or without music and playing video games but I haven't really played games since I started making videos again. <laughs> What's the most meaningful gift you've ever received and why? <laughs> Life. Life. It's precious. <laughs> What's the most important lesson you've learned from a failure or setback in your life? This thing here, that's a very good quote. And finally, because the AI is running out of questions, I did ask about 200. What's next for your channel? And I'm so happy to say this. I don't know. I will know once I finish with this video. I do tend to plan in advance, but I also like not to, so that if I come up with an idea and I'm gonna make it, it's gonna be as fresh and I'm gonna have a lot of passion. For example, I have so many ideas written down from years ago, but because I didn't make them when I came up with those ideas in that moment. I'm not passionate. But this was very fun and relevant and we'll see. Maybe one day I won't be here. You won't be watching me. You'll be watching an AI. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, Brian Videos. Strong point to end the video. <laughs>